Praise the Lord, Bishop. It's the Lord's sake. Um, continue to pray for me and my house. <laughs> pray for my daughters in a special way. Yes. That the Lord will let them see the need to show up to be saved. Yes. My family members, that the Lord will give them a mind. Prick their hearts and their spirits to really come on to Jesus. Yes. You know, some people just say like, well, you know, I'm going to church. Mm -hmm. But God is seeking intimacy. and He's seeking a relationship. Yes. Let them begin to know the truth mm -hmm. and, you know, look around at the signs of the times yes. and just wake up, shake, shake yourself and wake up. Pray my sister in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. 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 testify and verify that God is who he said he is yeah. and he will do what yeah. he said he will do. So, you know, just keep me in prayer and um, also keep my hand in prayer because Friday is the court hearing with her and my son and she's just like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I just pray that God's perfect will be done in that situation, mm -hmm. you know, because we all have to learn our way. Yeah. So, you know, we all have to, there's consequences behind the decisions that we make. But yeah. behind this consequence or whatever this decision may be that allowed him to turn his heart to repentance, that he needs to repent not only to her, but to God first. Yeah. And yeah. that, you know, because he knows the Lord. He knows the Lord. And yes, we all come off track sometimes and we go our own way. But I pray that, um, this uh, detour his heart from the ways of this world, and that he sees that the, the decisions that he makes, they they can cost, whether yeah. good or bad. Yeah. So just open up his eyes to the things that he should do and that he shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. So and just like I said, keep my hand in prayer because she's just you know, she kind of distraught. I can't be there that day, so she's like you know going in, and I told her just go in with the Lord. He he knows. What you know what oh, I mean? Yeah. I, I left it in his hands. You do the same thing. You just show up and and, and he 
just show up and play. So, you know, just, just keep our heart in line because he's very torn about it. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Well, let the church stand. Let everybody pray. Oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we certainly come before you, Lord, and say thank you for praise and praise, grace and mercy, your love and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for your blessing, your multitude of blessings that you have bestowed upon each and every one of us. We ask you, Lord, that you touch our hearts and our minds and our spirit, that you allow us, Lord, to come boldly to the throne of grace, that we might obtain mercy and by grace to help us in our time of need. We need your help, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Bless each and every request that's been made known. Every request that's been made known to you, Lord, is sincere and honest. And we realize that you're the only one. You're the only help that we know. You're the only help that we know. We ask you, Lord, that you bless, Lord, by your power, by your divine might, and your God glory, Lord, that your most perfect will be done. And Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you send salvation, that you send deliverance, Lord. Hallelujah, save the next to the children of the day, Lord. Bless our children and our family members, Lord. Save them to the animals in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we pray for guidance, we pray for direction. Hallelujah, go before us.
Where? 
God to help me with my mind. Yes. I'm wondering if God to uh, save me. I'm wondering if God to I'm wondering if He's going to deliver me from this. Thank you, Jesus. You follow? Yes. The stronghold, things that I'm struggling with. I'm wondering, I wonder if God, God. I wonder if God to help me. My God. The scripture says He's already supplied.
to my mind, I had forgot. Yes. Since we were talking about faith, the Lord brought it to my mind earlier this week because I had forgot about it. Yeah. And I'm thinking, you know, God is real. He's real. I pulled up to the gas station. I was ready to pay for my gas. Oh, and I looked. Somebody had already paid for my gas. My the, and they just left the pump there. The my gas was already paid for. And I just started pumping until there was no more money left. And my, my tank was full. Full. <laughs> I need the gas, and I just pulled up to the gas station expecting to pay myself. And somebody had already paid. They just paid and left. Left. Hallelujah. And I my tank. Hallelujah. Well, since we tell it, huh? Hey, y'all. What was it? Tuesday? No, today's Wednesday. Monday. I need to check in the mail $300.
Told me how much the stone was and everything, and the Lord just kept moving. Do this, do that. Let them know what design you want on the stone. Get the picture and take it to them like they told you to. And I'm just moving. I'm like, Lord, I ain't got no money. I'm trying to do. He said, Do what I told you. Yes. 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 And so I gave him yes. everything Thank you, Jesus. he needed. And I gave him a payment. I'm looking at the paperwork. The paperwork say, okay, we require half before we do anything. They done engraved the stone and put all the stuff on there. And so I said to the guy, I had given him some money, and it wasn't half. And he said, I said, um, you know, I'll be bringing you another thing. He said, don't worry about it. We're not worry about that. He said, you want to see the stone? I said Come yes. He took me out and he showed me the stone and it was engraved and everything. He said we're gonna put the picture on it, right? So I said, well, you know, I'd like to have it um, out at the cemetery at a certain time. He said, yeah, okay. So he said, if the rain hold up, we'll get the cement guys out there, right? I said, oh, okay. You know, but I hadn't gave him no whole bunch of money. Come on. So when I came out of work late last Wednesday, the Holy Ghost said, go to the cemetery. So I'm, I called my friend, and I'm on my way to the cemetery. And I got to the cemetery when I looked over. I said, the stone in the ground. She said, what about that? I said, 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 I when I got out that car, I saw that stone, I just stood there. Thank you, Jesus. God said, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I, I, come on, yeah. I said, you know what? I said, I've been going through so much, I just made my heart so Yes. Yeah. I said, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. That was an ache in my heart. I just yes. wanted that stone to be there. Yes. I'm thankful to God. He said, you go. You let's keep listening. Don't yeah. worry. Quit looking around about it. you didn't pay this and you didn't pay. You do what I told you. Right. You move like I tell you to move. That's it. And I said, okay, God. Come on. I'm thankful. I'm yeah. thankful. Faith yeah. yeah. is the time. Yeah. You want to have to tell it? Because we already provide. Yeah. 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 I, 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 
basically was gonna say, he, the man haven't called me like I know I have a balance. And he was like, I ain't even worried about that. Thank you, like, uh, you go, I know you're gonna pay me. Thank you. I'm like, Lord, I thank you. I yeah. thank you. I thank you. Thank you. But you know, I can go out there and I know what my boy is. That's right. You know? That's right. And, and God, he's able to provide in the natural. Yeah. And he's able to provide in the spiritual. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, Amen. 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 Just like that. Oh, God. Uh, uh, yeah. He can give you in the spiritual. He can write you a check. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. I know that's right. This 
trick of the enemy. Yes. 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 Huh? What God has given you is a sound mind. Amen. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you.
says that grace and peace injustice and you go to don't try to defend yourself right you know you, you take it to the to the the law right and and and, and the law that, that would take care of it because the attorney that represents you is standing in your stead and, yeah. and i'm using that to bring some and then because your attorney is representing you then the state of pennsylvania will, will fight for you yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So then when we go to God with our problems, yeah. through Jesus Christ, Jesus is our uh, advocate, yeah. our, our lawyer. Uh, he's our attorney, thank you, yeah. our lawyer. And he take it to God, yeah. and God fights all of our battles. Oh, and he never loses. He never loses. Never. Never 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 will. Because we don't know the system right. like he does. And we we don't, don't know the law. law. Yes. Right? And the system. Yeah. Amen. 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 So we pay them for what they know. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So you got to know. Yes. Know who to go to. That's yeah. it. Know who to call. Amen. Yeah. Huh? Um, and then, and then by faith, you expect God to avenge you yes. of your actions. Thank you, man. <laughs> I said, the Lord did the
the distraction, and then and not it take you from what God has already done. And it'll take your faith, it really it will dwindle your faith. Thank you, Jesus. All right, what are you doing? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Jesus. That's the All right, no. Of him that has called us to what? Now he's called you to glory. His glory. Right? The glory of the Lord. And when he means by that, he's called you to glory, meaning that he's called you to live in his presence. Like Moses, when he went back to the Ten Commandments, he was in the presence of the glory of God. Thank you, Amen. Uh, so God has called you to a place of glory, uh, to where you are, are to live a glorified life. Amen. You follow? Yes. Hallelujah. When, when Jesus, when they saw Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration, they saw him what? Glorified. Hallelujah. And when people see us, uh, they should see us when we walk into the presence of them. They should see the glory of God in our life. Thank you. Upon us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Father. Amen. When I, was, when I was down there in Pittsburgh Sunday, there was a uh, young girl. And I don't know how old she was. I think she was like 40, maybe 30. And she was sitting, you know, kind of. Over there in the corner. And you know, I was preaching, I was preaching, and all of a sudden she started to light up. My God. Before I was like, whoa, look at this. Mm. I see, I see, and, and the smile came on her face. I was at the glory of yeah, God. Jesus. Uh, the witness of that preached word was the witness.
feel the love waxing over. Yes. I feel the change. Yes. Things different. Yes. Amen. Yes. And, and, and I know it's a problem because I taste it as a My God. I, I know what it feels like to have the joy of the Lord. Yes. That's right. I, I can call that those four. Because you know what you you know what you had, yeah, and you don't have that anymore. No, nope. so you you're not gonna be satisfied till you go back and get it. No, nope. you have to go back. No, nope. at all costs. We spent time with the Lord. Yes, we tasted it. Uh, uh, we know how great it is. and nothing else will satisfy. Nothing. Nothing. Amen. Nothing else will satisfy. Oh. Amen. We have to have the real thing. Yes. Amen. Yes. Um, because that's why we go back. Yes. Um, that's why we, we, we wait on him. Amen. 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 Bishop Hancock said he had a brother uh, that was a preacher. Uh -huh. He's a backslidden preacher. Jesus. Uh, backslidden preacher. My God. And, <laughs> and he said, he said that Every now and then, the Holy Ghost will move on his brother. 
And he had to get up, go to somebody's church, and preach. My God. Because the anointing of God was mm -hmm. on him. Yes. She uh, fasted and preached. Uh, and, and and the Holy Ghost moved on. My God. Uh, we had to get up. Mm -hmm. uh, now, if the Holy Ghost said you could get to a fast and preach, we lost a lot.
Thank you, Jesus. God is real.